Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to People of Qur'an, where every night I share with you a story about how one of our pious predecessors interacted with an ayah of the Qur'an. So this is a really interesting story because it starts off with a hadith of the Prophet wasallam about one of the companions and then that companion being asked about it. We get now to Juz 14 and we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this surah, in Surah Al-Nahl, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Ibrahim kana ummah. Verily, Ibrahim alayhi salam was a nation. He was an ummah in and of himself. And he was devoutly obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, always inclined towards the truth. And he was not amongst those who associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, one of the first um, tapes, cassette tapes I, I heard that, that really got me into Islam was, uh, was a tape by Imam Siraj Wahaj from the 1980s. Uh, where the, the title of the khutbah was, Verily Abraham was an ummah, he was a nation. And subhanAllah, it's a very interesting ayah. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean when he says Ibrahim was an ummah? Because Ibrahim, you know, it could mean multiple things. Ibrahim is the father of the Abrahamic faith. So Ibrahim alayhi salam is the father of Bani Israel and he's the father of Bani Ismail. So, you know, all of these prophets come from his lineage and these huge ummahs come from his lineage. So it could mean that. Or it could mean something else. And the reason why it most likely means something else is that there's a narration from the Prophet ﷺ where he says, Inna Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Ummah. That Abdullah ibn Mas'ud anhu is an Ummah. And we don't know of any lineage from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud anhu that survived. So it means something different. So this narration is from one of the students of Ibn Mas'ud anhu, whose name is uh, Abu al-Abdain. And he came to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud anhu. And uh, he said to him, you know, that لم نسأل إذا لم نسألك, that there's a question that I have and I wouldn't ask anyone other than you, meaning you're the only person I feel comfortably uh, or I feel comfortable about asking this question. So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, go ahead and ask. He said, أخبرني عن الأمة. Tell me what the Ummah is. What does it mean when Allah says Ibrahim was an Ummah? And he was hinting to Ibn Mas'ud when the Prophet وسلم, said that Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu was an ummah. And Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu responded, and you can see the humility of this companion. He says, Inna Mu'adhan kana ummatan qanitan lillahi hanifa. He said, Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu was an ummah. And he was qanitan lillah. He was someone that was devoutly uh, obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Walam yakum min al mushrikeen. And he was a monotheist and he did not associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Abu Abdul Abdain he says qultu fi nafsi ghalata Abu Abdul Rahman He said I said to myself you know you're making a mistake oh Abu Abdul Rahman I mean Allah says inna ma qala Allah ta'ala inna Ibrahim kana umma Allah says that Ibrahim was an umma so how can you say that Mu'adh was an umma and he was qanitan lillah and so on and so forth so Ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said to him atadri ma al-umma wa ma al-qanit do you know who a nation is and who the Qanit is, the one who stands in obedience to Allah is. So I said, Allah wa Rasuluhu A'lam. Allah and His Messenger know best. So He said, Al Ummatu Ladi Yu'ali Munas al Khair. He said that the Ummah is the one that teaches people to do good. Wal Qanitu Al Muti'u Lillahi wa Rasulihi. And the one who's obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or the one who's devout, is the one who, who is always obedient to Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَكَذَلَكَ كَانَ مُعَاذٌ مُعَلِّمَ الْخَيْرِ وَكَانَ مُطِيعًا لِلَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ And Mu'adh was someone that used to teach people to do good and he used to obey Allah and his Messenger wasallam. Now what's the point of all of this and what does that exactly mean? Essentially Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that Ibrahim alayhi salam was a nation in the sense of productivity. What Ibrahim alayhi salam was able to achieve, what he was able to guide people to, the good that he was able to inspire in those around him made him like an ummah all by himself. He was a nation all by himself. And the Prophet ﷺ is saying, this man, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, what he was able to achieve or what he would achieve even after the death of the Prophet ﷺ was more than an entire nation would achieve. The amount of people that Ibn Mas'ud taught the Qur'an and taught fiqh and taught hadith and the amount of people that he guided towards good character and good manners was more than what an entire nation would be able to achieve. And Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, and Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a nation as well. He was an ummah as well, and he was qanitan lillah. He was someone that stands devoutly 
in front of his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And essentially what that does is it gives us an opportunity as well to measure ourselves and think, hey, could we reach that level as well? Where the amount of good that we put forth is greater than a group of people, greater than an entire nation. Are we capable of that? And the hope that we take from the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ about Ibn Mas'ud and what Ibn Mas'ud said about Mu'adh is that anyone can achieve that insha'Allah ta'ala. Addalu ala al-khayr kafa'ili. The one who guides to good is like the one who does good. So think about what you inspire in people. Think about what you're guiding people to. And think about how productive you want to be. And don't say to yourself, you just want to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as someone that prayed and did, you know, prayed a lot and fasted a lot and so on and so forth. But rather someone that inspired his family, inspired his community, and inspired the people around him so that he or she was like an entire nation. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to raise us in the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to raise us as well as people that achieved what nations could not achieve and we ask Allah to accept from us. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khayran for tuning in. I'll see you all tomorrow inshaAllah for people of Quran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.